Hey, what's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Just wanted to do another update on my planted 10 gallon aquarium. Excuse me. <laughs> but um, I uh, actually um, am looking at a 65 gallon um, aquarium that I'm going to relocate these uh, angelfish to because they're growing pretty substantially. They, I mean, they really have, they were about the size of these guys when I got them. They were, I mean, they were small. And now, you see, they're so inquisitive. They want to check out everything. You know, they they have awesome personalities. They sit there and try to figure out, you know, what you're doing and try to, you know, encourage you to feed them and all that. And they like to come right up to the glass, you know, and they recognize the food container. When I pull it out, they'll start wagging like a puppy, like rat wagging their tails. But I got a cucumber in there on uh, my uh, long tweezers, and they go to Pica my little Picasmus there. He's he's uh, that's as big as he's gonna get. He's a small small species. Uh, I forgot the actual name of the species, but uh, he's cool. I like him a lot. He comes out every time I put the cucumbers there. He'll eventually work his way up there and be on the cucumbers because he love them. But these angelfish, as soon as I put it in there, they all. They'll go right at it and they'll start eating on it and then they'll swim around and they'll go right back to it. Um, my plants are doing good. My Nubius is doing good. I got my Java fern over here. Um, and uh, everything is going, doing good. My uh, canister filter is pouring out that nice clean water, keeping the water polished. But uh, yeah, my tank is actually doing really well. I um, just wanted to do a little update and show you guys. I appreciate you guys for viewing these videos and uh, I really enjoy this hobby and plan to put out a lot more as I um, prepare to get my 55, I mean, I'm sorry, 65 gallon aquarium. I was gonna get a 55, that's why I said 55, but then I've seen the 65 and I said, I'm gonna get that. So 65 gallon, when I get that, I'm planning on making that thing immaculate as well. And I got some great aquascaping ideas. I've been studying some things on YouTube and also coming up with some original thoughts on what I want to do off of some of the ideas that I've seen. Um, and plan to really put some cool species. And I think I might go cichlid or I might go, I saw these types of sharks, uh, black they call it black fit. I don't know. Uh, sometimes I forgot the name of them. I'm sorry, but they were really cool. They almost look like a, a big catfish. I'm quite sure you guys have seen them before, but they can get pretty big. So 65 gallon be perfect for them. Uh, I want to get two of those and let them grow and get pretty big. And I think that'd be pretty cool inside a 65 gallon aquarium. See, the angelfish love. Uh, for those of you that, that didn't know, angelfish love cucumbers and they also like uh, dew melon or cantaloupe they like fruits yeah, but you could try different ones but I, so far I fed them uh, cucumbers zucchini and uh, dew melon and they seem to love, like them all equally the same so uh, well, my plants seem to be doing very well um, of course, I got my light on a timer. I run my light 12 hours. I got it from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Then it shut off. Do 12-hour lighting. Um, I dose my tank with uh, Flourish. Um, I don't, you know, get too crazy with the, you know, I don't do CO2 or anything like that. I just got the bubble stone back there, and I, I use this stuff called CO2 Booster. This is uh, great for plants. API and uh, it seemed like it's I've been I've been using this stuff uh, since I started this tank and it's the plants have really been doing great with that um, and I do the mi microbe lift those of you that haven't seen it it's this stuff right here that's the stinky snaky bottle stuff right here Microbe lift special blend excellent stuff. I'm almost out. I need to get another bottle But uh, this stuff does wonders. It makes it where you don't got to do as many water changes 
you know, as often. But uh, that was great, you know, keeping uh, the bacteria count up and uh, keep your tank cycled very well. Does a good job. Yep. Hope everybody's having a great day today or night if you're watching this at night time by the time you see this video. Hope you have a good a great night. I uh, hope you've been doing doing well with your hob, hobby of uh, aquariums and uh, I tell you, I tell anybody this is one of the most enjoyable and relaxing hobbies there is. One of them. Because I mean the benefits that you get after you complete your aquascape and get everything set up it's just wonderful it's, it's so I think uh, mentally it's such a mental relaxation to be able to sit there and uh, after a long day of work or whatever and come home and come home to something like this it's just uh, awesome to me I love these little guys man I do my best to take the best care, care that I can for them keep them healthy and they depend on us you know these little fish here um, you know we're, we're, we're their lifeline and everything we do to our aquariums what you know with the feeding and the nutrients and the keeping their keeping their little breathing water hat uh, healthy uh, they they are counting on us to take good care of them and it feels good to see them thriving and, and, and getting healthy and, and getting big actually and, and being healthy it's, it's uh, the rewards that we reap from having this hobby is it's awesome. You know, just just the feeling that you get seeing these little creatures thriving in a little underwater world. I love it. Yeah, this is my my uh, live planted ten gallon aquarium. Just doing very well. Uh, my dwarf hair grass, by the way, is growing really slow. <laughs> it's got a bunch of little twigs of it sticking, you know, all over the uh, substrate. But uh, it ain't really kicking off yet. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's a, just a bunch of little twigs in there. And uh, it's been a couple weeks now, and they haven't really sprouted out too much yet so I'm still waiting on that to happen I would love to get a I would love to get a nice carpet at the bottom of that tank that's my goal is to get a get a, a good carpet but I'm still waiting for that to start spreading so I don't know I don't know if my dwarf hair grass is gonna do good in this tank or not but everything else is doing fine all good. I just wanted to try the dwarf ear grass, see if I can get it, get it to carpet. So far, I haven't been too successful yet. It's been over, about two and a half weeks. But maybe my, maybe they're they're just growing slower in my setup, and we'll eventually get there. Yeah, I have my my aquarium is stocked pretty heavy because uh, of the filtration that I have in here. I have good filtration that can handle the overload. So, you know, I haven't had any problems with this many fish in a ten gallon. But uh, this is my cutoff. I don't put any any more fish in this in there. I got my series of small fish, the Tetris little neons back there, and then I got these here. My red fins. Got three of those and three neons, and then I got the two angel fish and the uh, uh, five black tetras and the red tetras right there. So that's, that's it. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you like, please subscribe and share as well. And I appreciate it. God bless you all.